The question is, actually holding the banjo. So the banjo is a big physical, awkward instrument, particularly if you're on the smaller side, they're heavy, they, they want to slip off their lap. So, if you're, if you're holding the banjo, and uh, you, you, want, you want to be able to do so in the most relaxed kind of way. Okay? I should probably preface the entire weekend thing by, by saying that relaxation, physical relaxation, when you're playing is the most important thing that you can start to, to, to develop. And um, it's really an issue of kind of becoming conscious of your own body when you're playing, from conscious of your own uh, muscles and where you're, where you're stressed. And well, we'll talk about that constantly over the, over the course of the weekend. So the, the entire framework for, for holding the banjo, it, it, it's important to look at it in that context. So if, uh, if you need a strap, you know, if you, if you find that the banjo is slipping or sliding or you have to actually engage the muscles in order to pull out your lap, then a, a strap can be a good idea. Um, most kids, I reckon, should, should have straps until they're big enough for the banjo to just literally sit on the base, you know. Uh, and depending on the chair that you're in, these ones aren't kind of slow backwards. But they're not the best, but you know, maybe cock up a leg just so that the banjo is self-supporting. Now, there's kind of the two main ways that you see people playing, and one is, is, is kind of flat, flat in your lap, or, or the other way is, is, is tucked down to one hip. Okay? Um, I generally play like this. Um, this can be quite comfortable, it's a more relaxed position, but it throws your right arm out of the shape. Your, stick, your elbow ends up sticking out. So I, I find that it's better to have it Back between your two legs. Um, now, the most comfortable position is to have it at, at, at this kind of angle. Is it, that's, that's, that's probably 45, is it? So, you know, between 25 and 30 degrees, I think, to put a number on it. Now, you will find that for people that are learning, you know, they like to have it up here where they can keep an eye on it. <laughs> as you can see, you're right hand, you know? um, The problem with that, and we'll get on to the right hand in detail in a minute, is that in order to get the pick, to get the pick straight onto the strings, you're going to have to twist your, your right hand. Okay? Um, so it's a good idea to drop the manager down to about the 25 degrees, so that it's comfortable and that your, your elbow